Hello everybody. So let's continue to read a book for well sleeping. When I'm reading it makes me feel sleepy. So get your headset, take your pillow, take your blanket, switch off your eyes and start listening to book for sleeping. A knock at the door lift me out of my reverie. Excuse me one moment, I say. It is a postman delivering a package that will not squeeze through the letterbox. I sit back down at my chair and picture my son remembering his birth and my birth as a mother. I conjure his first birthday, his first steps and his favorite plush toy. I am in touch with how rewarding motherhood reminds. Mariana yawns and I ask her what she been thinking about in the silence. She looks me square in the eye, a sperm donor of betrayal. Pick me one, she says. Pick one, her poop says. Mariana starts at the two slabs of vinyl, knowing she is being tested. Get it wrong and she couldn't find herself unwound as at least until super. Choose correctly and he will shine his back and other all over the day and all night. She reached out and touched Mila's day so what? And her pops grins as shaming his shoulders and clears the arm of his ancient record player before the sample melodic bass and trumpet slide in. He deals up the volume, plays Charlie Parker back in the box and sips slowly on his room and cook. Two chairs have been introduced to the garage. The made of plate a feature with plumped shoes to make more comfortable her pops and gain body. The day after they will celebrate his 65th birthday. Hanging on the garage walls are her mother's paintings, impressions of two scan landscapes as escapes, lovers and fast sleeping babies. All the things Mariana desires and cannot have. She thinks I'll forget her, so she fills my garage with her at work on Facebook. I like them, it feels homely, Mariana's smile. I don't want to, it to feel homely, I, this is where I, how I escape. Mariana kicks off her pops and tracks her latent beneath her. Oh, Pop, you're always sneaking off, always trying to escape. You're not going anywhere, we both know that. Pop's loud, you're right. Four years we have been together. Who I am killing? Exactly. What about you, kiddo? Anyone in your hair? No, not really. There's Carl, but it's complicated. Well, let me give you two pieces of advice, she, she says. Always do what you need to do to be happy and second learn how to forgive. Golden words. The next day, they listened to Charlie Parker and uh, had a ginger cake. Uh, this is the last day Mariana will spend with her pops. She writes uh, for her sessions a uh, flame and animated. I think I might have found a suitable donor she beams. His name Edward. How weird is that? Not that weird. I do not say neither do I really knew in the fruit or the ball complex, 
and instead wait for her to continue. The good news is that he goes uh, by Edward, not Teddy Phil. She says, whipping her forehead with the back of her hand while a bear fear uh, need release a roll of her eyes. Nothing said it's done. It's early days, but he's tall, athletic, and kind. I don't know how you feel about short and long profile donors, but he seems lovely and suitable. Anyway, we took it and got along to we are going to meet for coffee next week. And Carl, I asked. She shows. I haven't told him about Edward. I am still undecided. I wonder whether we might explore your dilemma and, more importantly, what driving your decision. I'm curious why you haven't discussed this with Carl. Mariana paused and I not her breath settle. I am relieved to see this. Uh, her Mariana reminds me of our earlier work and my attempts to slow down his purpose. She clears her throat and learns forward in her chair. It just won't feel like I have choice for a while longer. And a bit for freedom and before her swelling baby gets too big to in her belly, Sienna organizes a long weekend away in Paris. Come on, it's be fun. Me, you and Chessy, just like old times, says her happy pregnant friend. When Mariana returns in her flat after two days of French found he she has an overhanging fear that she is being bullied. Instead of opening the door, she picks up her bags and heads out onto the street. There is a call Sienna, no answer, Cassier, no answer, Carl, no answer. She leaves a voicemail mail for each of them. Should I call the police? She wants fear and paranoia consume her. She's shocking by the power of her paranoia or it's a paranoia. It is a Bulgarian stealing my flat. That I say stealing the hobbits they haven't found it. the one piece of jewelry she loves but never wears. When she arrives for session, the following day Mariana explains the terror she is to feel before being able to enter her flat. At look nearly an hour before I could go indoors. Wonder if this is paranoia or being treated a bad it allows us to ignore our anger, I say. But there are also another theory I think you may be interested in. That is paranoia in a response to the feelings that we are being treated with in difference. Mariana takes off her scarf and rests out of hers, her knees like a blanket. Carl didn't even bore the girl while I was always, she say. I left him a couple of messages. He texted back, but he didn't call. Paranoia is a defense I add. Protect us from feelings no one is holding us in mind. Perhaps she thought that someone had burgled your home, protected you from a far more painful relationship that nobody cares, or so you believe. She agrees, but nobody. I do think a lot doesn't help, especially after Carla said we had moved in together. I take a sip of my tea. Paranoia is also more likely if we are feeling alone and insecure. You are an only child. I say, what was that like for you? 
nothing like how I feel now. Mom was always home painting, and if she were, wasn't box make sure that we was. I never come home and empty house after school. I uh, gather her words and make them my throws, so one might say that I charge you rather you felt alone. However, now the paranoia of thinking you will be let save you from feeling alone. You asked me once what the robbery was really about. I heard the thoughts of someone still ankle seeking revenge is easier than being forgotten. Your paranoia protects you from feelings indifferent, I say. Yes, I feel very sad, Mariana speaks quietly. Wanting a family suddenly makes perfect sense. The months of August sees a lot of psychotherapists vacate for the summer holidays so they can rest and fly and extend it pretty much like mouth wash for the mind. Over the years, my holiday have been dependent on various factors such as child care, fatigue, and more recently, writing projects. However, on this particular occasion, I do have decided to take the month of August away from clinical practice, not to present, but also to spend two more with my son who needed a warm holiday after her end as an examination. Mariana was one of the few patients who expressed how she was looking forward to a break from her therapy. It's not that I want Miss coming to see you, but I can test out what I've learned, she says, in our final session before the summer break. <coughs> test out seems an interesting phrase and wondered who and what she was testing exactly. Herself, me or both nodded. I wondered if when I perhaps uh, Mariana had lied to me also. Uh, she was still undecided about Carl. And also I suggested for the past few months that she tried to experience her life by living more in the present and with feelings. Mariana had become increasingly preoccupied with planning her pregnancy, testing Carl and meeting and what the potential sperm donor often for lunch. She was finding it difficult to move away from the position. Oh, I just want to feel like I have choice for a while longer to one of honestly relating with Carl Edward and her mother. When I asked her about this, she replied, I look uh, old habits dear heart. I noted how her defenses mechanisms of were still very much alive and unreal. Uh, would she choose to be honest with Carl or go ahead with Edward? She's the sperm donor, perhaps near the old. I hear what she desired most. A family of her own. Five weeks as long time I thought with no therapy when significant life choices and hammering uh, the door at the door. This powerful enactment which me and Mariana and uh, she as her both was frustratingly fixed and swearing. She kept the lies and duplicity alive and I was left to hold the secrets like she had as a girl and teenager. It focused to me, I said, that the lies, the discretions, as you call them, 
on the stop it when your pop passed away three years ago but you still carry them around inside you what do you think might happen if i were to say i no longer wish it to call you with your cough and confession mariana's eyes widen and turn glassy i'd be angry and then i'll worry you will the return after the holidays she whispers i think you didn't care I pause for good pause and take a breath, but I do care, Mariana, very much. It's important to break the pattern I offer by keeping this story alive. You make any previous hurt your destiny. Mariana is a silent. She is sleeping. She turns away, unable to hold my gaze and collects her sweater from the arm of the chair, pull it over her head and adjust her sheet collar. It's a delicate thing, all of a clock out of a clock, we are at time. The summer holidays and wait as both a sun and standing and join her. Mariana collected the bag, clears her throat and smiles. There is something I want to tell you before I leave, she says. I am pregnant. She leaves. I am in shock. During our five week summer break, my thoughts are down, like a mouse toward light to our parting session. Mindful that the visitations are more insistent than my other patients. I trust myself and my journey and experience is a therapist and not to listen to take note and observe. I find myself oscillating between irritation and confusion, vexation and curiously that Mayana had absented herself with such translating and provocative parting short. Why had she done this? Was it an attempt to feel she had control of our relationship? As she had when she told me again at the end of session. Then she was going to stop talking her contraceptive pill. That by leaving and dropping the baby bombshell, I might experience as she had with Carl, what it felt like to be tantalized and keep waiting. I did that with the few actions come from a place to fear and hurt, but the experience is cruel, like an acting out, and I am painted with why, why this. I am also angry and disappointed. I am reminded myself of the professional I am in that Mariana's dick isn't personal, that a patient behavior is a response of their struggle. But however professional, I convince myself of being I am a human, and humans hurt and feel disappointed. They also welcome a whole summer holiday. The reality of working with a patient so wanting of a baby I think so needed to be a mother I realized right the whole questions of desire into the center of my mind. I finally reached compassion. Mariana the stride pretty successfully to show me how hurtful waiting can feel. Thoroughly there is a more pleasant ways of communication once to frustrations I think. September. Mariana is early for her first session. She appears calm when I open the door, eyes making contact. A glamorous smile. Her hair I not has been highlighted. Tiny shards of light launching of her curls. I'll be with you shortly, Mariana. I say showing her to the waiting room. I observe feeling mutually irritated for her being clear 15 minutes early and close my office door and return to my notice from the previous session. By 
right my concentration is interrupted by reflection hard to call back i decide on boiling the kettle and making tea while i wait as the anticipation of discovering who Vianna is pregnant with felt in the pit of my stomach how are you Vianna? i begin my friend Thank you, you good and smile. How was your summer? I asked. Nice, she shift in her seat, relaxing the fidgets. Silence. I realized I just felt telling you I was pregnant before the summer. I shouldn't have done that, she says. I was a bit withholding and mean. I'm sorry. I do not respond immediately. I pause. I want there to be a adequate time, adequate time for us to sit with the apology, which I welcome. Thank you. I say. I was shocked at our last session, particularly because the topic of pregnancy has been such an important decision for you. I also wondered if you were trying to show me how painful waking can be, especially as you had a way to communicate having a family with you. And of course, there is a matter of re I think you were trying to show me what holding secrets hold power and you and your father had and when I say that I didn't want to call again my longer this had disappointed you. Mariana's mute. You are right, I wanted to hold on to knowing I was pregnant without telling anyone for as long as I could something just for me and the baby. All my life I will keep sickness for others, waiting for others, longing for others. I didn't even tell Edward until last week. So Edward is the father, I smile, he is. I ended my relationship with Carl in the summer. I figured that I was going to be happier doing it a lot. Edward and I have become quite close. We have spent some time together during the holiday. I don't think Carl would have even communicated and I don't know if I couldn't completely trust him after his affair with Lucien. I will be 12 weeks pregnant next month, uh, so I'll tell my mom and friends then. But for now, I'm just you and Edward, who knows. Mariana places her hands on her belly, looks to me and smiles. I didn't want to bring my baby into the worst was a lie, and that's what I would have been. I'd fallen pregnant with Carl, a lie. Mariana has children, children, when I met her six years ago. Now Grace is in school and enjoys the company of the children. All things unicorn and has a pet goldfish named are here. Like Mariana, I also raised my only child alone, as does Glyn. As I experience this and will leave my son to be those formative years so where I struggle and they were re re currently lonely. I was often faced with the material art of car of wardness from other mothers and families and weekend playgrounds. Sometimes I was quietly patient and I resented the strategy. Jacket of conformity that ill afforded the idea of choice and creativity as a single parent, but my desire and commitment once rooted blues so much quickly. Like Mariana, I am to feel an unconditional love for my child. Uh, he is sensitive and kind, creative and curious, and the one person in my life whom I choose to set sometimes before myself. Mariana also takes off this love, this unconditional love that it is to me, like no other. The words spoken almost like a song both 
lyrical and sweet, allow her eyes half open and then she fills them with a deep material bliss. Experiences of an infidelity, repetitions of family patterns, and the lies told in her relationship being damned uh, too harshly, Mariana's hair. In understanding her desire along with up tweaking potential family reenactment, Mariana made her choices differently and ultimately clear from her mother and to what her mother had suggested. The knife edge of settling for a partner she no longer respected as couldn't trust. Proved a challenge because, as Mariana often pointed out of session, time was running out. How close she was to lying to Carl, to action out her revenge and becoming pregnant through a lie. But what became clear as she swelled and grew larger by the months. But how much she wanted to be a mother, and then how devoted and loving and connected she had felt when Grace eventually arrived. How do you feel now? I ask, looking back in the times with Carl and Edward. I like I didn't know my own power, my own determination and strength. I thought I needed a man, partner, a husband for family to feel complete, and of course I loved that too, but this wasn't to be, not for me anyway. She takes a sip of water. It took a long time for me to believe it was possible to have a child on my own. I wish more women spoke about this, not having a family in such a conventional way as well as there is still such a lot of stigma, fear and shame around it, a taboo even, but I give at this, what we really want, who is to say we had to all want. Marianne says, learning into the first and final words to make sure I understood and that I will write beside the hero. And of course, I am. I stand there for two people, tell me what beauty is. Franz Faton, black skin, white mask. White noise. For example, the birthday party. She was nine years old and the only black child sits at the precisely laid table. She smoothed down her party dress, velvet and red. A large silk bow served as a collar that she fitted with constantly. Her cousins, both girls, passed the bread rolls along the table and went here and were few parted here, here with the pale outstretched palms. Why so spongy? They asked. Will it ever grow? She pulled it away, answering that it was a sponge because I liked that of her beautiful mother. It was different while people here. Why no strange than it? Claire, your young fat cousin, I asked. I don't want to stretch it. I like it. Uh, the child smiled. Still, Claire prayed. She said, your sisterly Emily, but then you more like us would say Emily. The child cast a hard glance for her parent, a silver fork table and forced a pride in a resting leg for lump, a sea of minted 
years. Her father looked away, but her mother learned it. Look at her bright eye with her daughter and care uh, This hair different uh, to your hair. She smiled and we like it here. Girls, don't we, baby? No, eat up. Lady Tia and her cousin went to the outside into the garden where Tia made herself plain and nicely. And in her instructions given by her father after he witnessed her of served herself in earlier game of doctor and nurses, filled the by a desire to join in. She tried to show Claire and Emily how to use a red plastic stereoscope, but this trio of pickering quickly turned physical after a disagreement about where is exactly the heart with and could be heard. It's here, Claire insisted. No, it's here, Sia said, forcing her land. Oh, you did that on a purpose, screamed Claire. Emily, look, your younger sister by the west. Come on, don't play with her. She's a wizard. She's not like us. She's mean. Mean and black is what they really meant to say. Tea reaches for Tissue. When you are different, she is continuous fingers making inverted commas. You do your best to fit in, especially when you are a child. You read the room and do your best at a family gathering. But my mother and I were always out numbered. We were six months into Sia's therapy, and as there had been many stories like this one, race tales, stories of divide and structural racism. Example of tears and her mother having had their voices and confidence as her nudge to obey. The symptoms of racism had laid heavy and their souls and their bodies, and Tia looked at her time to explain the struggles that ran deep and way beyond the skin. I never felt prettier or beautiful as a child, she told me. It is a I've been sure hornet into a body that wasn't mine. I black vessel that I'm just having from day to day, but didn't really like let alone care for. I had listened it with defiance and a familiar sense of an unease and agitation. Rage and fear. I was almost certain making new lines of my face. I wondered about the work I had knowing from past experiences that conversations concerning structural racism was painful and challenging when they climbed into the consulting room. I recalled the necessary healing through the connections on my own therapy alongside those who have also survived a rascal attack. Growth and challenge made possible when a joint connection is experienced by both therapists and patients. Important because it allows both patients and therapists to explore and participate together in whether the struggle the patient brings and also encourages the struggles to be named, felt, and then hopefully explored. The patient begins <gasps> to trust and grow. It's related and where your pain can be shared and accepted. Uh, this type of connection.
section just just about the standing of uh, passively willingness to it also evokes feelings uh, felt and shared meaning of fine and body from both sides of the room. Here a compassion and a deep recognition of the material sovereign can be, be grappled with a deep intimacy uh, helping to feel whether the suffering that she brings into session. She tells me how she is watching the note of confusion on the face of new friends and acquaintances dances with their curious eyes, particularly when your mother was out of abuse. Adopted who forced the false terror, the friends wondered about enough to hear. Perhaps she is a little friend of Claire or Emily. Later, she will see the penny drop on the puzzled faces. Bufflet does to steal the journey up as her mother eventually appeared like magic. A vision of soft skin, teeth, and red silk. Your mother's favorite colors. Here, the eyes were cast aside, the eyes slide and rise. Voices turn into strain of his parents. He contacted me 18 months after her mother's death. A smoking brain and an aneurysm that elevated falls by said it didn't survive. Tia was keen to work with a therapist of color, someone who couldn't relate of her struggles but had found the landscape and possibility of far's razor barren. Previously, She'd worked with a wild therapist and together they'd engaged in important work, but as uh, someone wishes, uh, wished the uh, address continued to involve her heritage and race. She felt in it was important to find a therapist who was uh, not afraid to go there. In our first uh, session together, Tia is uh, closed the towering loss of the mother and talked about how she'd been so shocked to the care. I'm still struggling to accept that my mom is gone forever. I suspect I'm depressed. My daughter Sophia thinks I need help. Evelyn, a hospital midwife for 28 years, had been perfectly healthy, also tears was so when she received a phone call to say that her mother had suddenly been rooted in her hospital. Tia had needed to steady her legs, her knees, her fall. Tia talked about her inability to fully accept her mother's death and wonder to the significant loss of her contributions to her increasing stress levels at home and at work. A company lawyer, Tia was struggling to focus and engage with her work as she once had. Law cases similar to those she previously advocated and felt passionate about were slowly disappearing and instead offered to her younger, petty and more ambitious colleagues. Few days were experienced in writing throat tri- triacle. While an eye on the clock, a desire to leave the office and head home as soon as the uh, hand his six. She felt disconnected and ambivalent. I have no energy to in terrorists anymore. I have the person, I become lazy, uninterested. She also felt restless 
towards her daughter jump with academia and is healthy because of her own uncompromising judgment of those who did not wish to be the best version of themselves including myself i observed and felt my chest tight perfect therapist here I tied it to say but didn't wonder it that early messages and beliefs had informed and desire for others to be perfect and anticipated anticipated the inevitable moment when I am too old surely disappoint the expectations of herself and others. I suspected I would be helpful by managing her expectations. I suggested twice to go to psychotherapy. I had always done everything on my own, Tia responded. So therapy is quite a risk, a good risk. I offer it, but nonetheless a risk. <sighs> the room filled with a heavy silence. Tia looked with a curiously around my consulting room, taking in the book shelves and the plants and the airborne or heat that I spread moments before her arrival, the pills or search papers and corn table poached and shining, fresh cut peonies resting on top. When her guards finally landed my face, she looked at her eyes with mine. There are two types of people, those who show up and those who don't. Please, don't be one of those people who disappoint me. I took a moment to digest the wise of tears was her binary thinking and the seriousness of her request. I do my best, I offer it, but I can't promise that I won't disappoint you. My attention expectations takes a strong out of potential disappointment. Perhaps we are all disappointed and disappointed sometimes. Tia blinked, not in my world. When a patient builds her therapy, she will frequently arrive with hopes, ideas, and longings for whom she would like her therapist to be. She may hope and dare to imagine her therapist as compassionate, a good listener, open hearers, and as good all around human being. All of the which makes a therapeutic, authentic, imaginable, and possibly for a patient we can talking about what is troubling you. Both patient and therapist coming for to a collaborative adventure, a voyage of heart and mind, where the no two patients of treatments are alike. Yet, while part of us engaged, each can be persons we meet with fresh. Open eyes and another part of us also brings memories, a blueprint, and encourages a previous relationship, family, and otherwise to the consulting room. Occasionally, a patient may be unable to see me as me because the vision of shaped by the emotional events she has already lived. I have in mind a young woman who come to therapy hoping to look at what she declared as envious mother-in-law syndrome and whom I worked with for just under a year. Every time I spoke of her offered by observations, she related my thoughts and reflections and something her own mother would say or not or do. That's just what my mother would say, she's simply or 
say that again you sound like my mother and I can't believe it is if she right here sitting opposite me she comparisons and projections comparisons and projections of me as mother continues to several weeks until one day a playful spoke I will often wonder what it might be like to have a droplegger to which is replied rather drilling. You look nothing like my mother. She is much taller than you. Session very drenched and a preoccupation. My patient fascinated, assuming, analyzing, and compulsively wondering what her mother was thinking, doing, or planning. The projections of your mother was so, so powerful that it began no more wonder. Uh, how might remind in my own body, my own skin, my husband obsessed with his mother, they insisted and the one afternoon quite early on our work, he opens over and like gifts uh, to the sky. He can't crap without consulting her first. He likely has a photograph of her in every room of our home. Then she cried. The energy was extraordinary. I wondered who and what has promised to be so disappointing for Jim. What had happened in her world that now I didn't allow for ever a sliver disappointed her carrying the weight of mental unrest on her shoulders like Atlas con Demonimate to hold on her severe central sky and heavens. Now I will, would I how would I possibly or impossibly live up to her expectations? Not in my world she has spoken, and any one world I asked myself. Here also I am facing stand that this is unluckily evidence that she ever be late or not working hard enough to end her therapy. She wished to be reminded in no uncertain terms that Latinus and but sinus are character defect. I want a therapy, she says, not in money. Nine months later, tears for her weekly Wednesday sessions, Jim has a swinging briefcase in hand. It's 7 p.m. right now. Once yes, she Once uh, sits, she quickly asks how my day was been before I have had a ch- uh, chance to ask her the same question. This is not unusual. I often need to jostle with the lively and inquiring lawyer who has rushed from work in her trainers to make her session on time. Initially, I wondered whether Tia was uh, checking on my possible fatigue levels and capacity to be present for her at the end of both of our working days. Or was the generously curious to know how my day had been? I was unclear, but if I were to trust my feelings, I sensed I was most likely then with the former. Oh, well, thank you, I say. How are you, Jim? Tired? Oh, tired. I have a pile of work to get through, and Sophia has her exams next week. If she spent more time studying and less time on her down phone, she wouldn't be in such a fix. What kind of fix? I inquire. Last night we were up until 2 a.m. going through his, her history notes. She is so behind, I 
made her write out significant dates so she will, she will remember them. Which period is she studying? The American Dream and the Tudors. She is interested in these topics. The Tudors not so much, and so they are here English and art. I can't help her with her art, but English maybe. The American Dream part of her history curriculum. curriculum. She enjoys this. Dear shrewds barely notes for the past few weeks yes uh, tendency has been to focus on her the chairs me shops in a big crisis a lot of she struggles she has spoken and revealed the fear victorious of the joy the experiences of her studies of friendship and I wonder about this what the therapy is an opportunity to reflect I think clearly about this course I believe it equally important to acknowledge moments of uh, full fulfillment and connected with oneself other and life in terrorists uh, on further anxiety shared that Sophia is very happy when she is making art and had recently been offered a place on two weeks summer school and submitting her painting most of them self portraits Tia however was unsure whether art was a past of mother's Russian history and English will offer more possibility I worry a career in art will be limited.